All right, guys, I had a request for this one this morning. Yeah, we're still sponsored by nobody. <laughs> Me and the iPhone. But anyway, the request was a full system layout, so we'll start at the beginning. My Amish battery. As I said, I need to rebuild it. Looks kind of rough. I mean, but, I mean, it works great. Made my own fuse holders there. I have two fuses up here from the alternator wires. My two runs, a two watt welding cable go into the back. There's two fuses in the back. That is it. I don't fuse none of my amps or anything. This is the Auto Tech Engineering. Uh, I believe they said it was like a 370. It put out right at 400 on the paperwork they gave me with it where they tested it. Down there is a Brand X 320. So two alternators. Everything else under the hood of this bad boy is pretty much yeah it's stock except for the motor the motor is like out of a 2000 uh, i still love them wheels 20 by 12s the doors that's a recliner release i put power windows in the doors they were hand crank ds18 horn ds18 hybrid tweeters and the neodymium uh pro audios My little A-pillars, Scar, I know, I know, but I built them things like before I ever even put a system in here. And then a DS18 3.5. My head unit's a Kenwood KMMX704 without a CD player. I mean, who's bought a CD player in the, or a CD in the past 15 years, honestly? I did all this white crap in here. Y'all have seen the video on my speedometer right there. Yeah. And that JP signature and the EXO signature, that's good for like 7 dB right there. Fat boy voltage regulator. Uh, Jeeps are like naturally externally regulated, so it's simple to just up your voltage in them. Pride Audio TV 315s. I've had these bad boys over a year. They get hella loud, take a lot of abuse, and I just realized I need to vacuum out my enclosure. It is dirty in there. But yeah, badass subs. They're only three inch voice coil and they take whatever power I throw at them. They have been really awesome so far. Stripper pole to keep the windshield and roof intact. It ain't helping a whole lot. <clears throat> My amps for the mids and highs. And yes, I am missing two 5Ks down there. I blew a 5K. So I had to put in this little 500 by four that I had laying around. That's running my 10s right now versus two 5Ks. DSP from DS18. This thing's been badass. These are really, like, really good. 300 by 4 is on my A-pillars and my tweeters. I got this 4-channel bridged into 2-channel running the horns. Uh, the horns are 8 ohm, so I figured it'd be better to bridge a 4-channel to them. It sounded right in my head. I don't know if it actually helps a whole lot. And I put this relay in here to turn everything on because I had like eight amps and a DSP. I did this before Sam at Bear Vids did the video showing that that actually takes more amperage to turn on than uh, nine amps or 10 amps. So I just left it. And here we have, man, I love knob concepts. Uh, they made that for me but four ds18 hko8 hooligans these are badass amps uh they are full bridge korean i've had a lot of people come to me and be like oh no they're not full or they're not they're half bridge my bad they're half bridge but i've had people come up and tell me they are full bridge and to that i say what master slave yeah they're definitely half bridge they are made in Korea. They have been like awesome amps, a ton of power. And I don't know if I did a video on YouTube. I did one on uh, TikTok. I had problems at the sundown show keeping these bad boys nice and cool. They actually overheated before the subs did, but it was really hot that day. So I fabbed up some little fan holders after I found these fans. These things move a ton of air. They actually work awesome. 
Remember when we was up front, I said I had some fuses going to the back. There they are. That's like, I'm not fused anywhere else, as you can see. But that's to protect that run that runs from the front to the back only. Uh, other than that, I mean, I got this 135C Max. And I have this. I mean, it helps me, you know, keep track of the voltage. So that's really all I got going on in here. Pretty short video today, but I did have a couple comments wanting to see a full system layout in here and that is it it is a sixth order i did design it i did build it and believe it or not it's built out of pine plywood like i used cheap 22 dollar a sheet i believe it was pine plywood back in the day and uh what's really i did a bunch of measuring on this the other day i've been working on the blazers front port and everything and i actually pulled more airspace in this cherokee than i did that blazer this is just more of a bigger squared enclosure. The blazer is like longer and skinnier and shorter. So uh, that's about it, guys. This extorter has done me really, really well, so I can't complain. But I do everything. Me and my wife like build all of our own stuff. Uh, I have fun with it. She has fun with it, I, you know, and it's a good hobby to have. And it's kind of fun doing everything on your own, so... We, we've had fun and done pretty good stuff. We're two builds in now as a couple. Actually, three with her little Ford Edge, but <laughs> it ain't nowhere near the magnitude of this in the Blazer. So, as always, guys, have a great day. Do something you enjoy today. Peace out. And as always, guys, base on.